Dreams have mouths with roofs and tongues that salivate at the sound of freedom calling on Sunday mornings when hallelujah rings the ears of crowds raising tambourines and cowbells. Those grandmothers pronouncing amen in Jesus' name. The sound of freedom begins with memory that spew from a mouth. The sound of freedom begins with an effervescent prayer of an elder chanting, holy, holy, holy hereafter. is tethered to the North Atlantic Sea. This poem is for Georgetown, Essequibo, Demerara, Linden, Buxton, Rose Hall, Anai, Barracara, and the Maroons of East Burbies. This poem circles back in time, unshackles the chains of ships, recovers the prickled black bodies pulled apart from home. This poem is a tongue that strikes the dungeons of La Amistad, Trevador, Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria, San Juan Batista, the White Lion, and Treasurer. This poem is legs that revolted the gun-cocked barrels clicked in sugar mills. This poem is audacious freedom songs, patting hands, and sing-alongs. This poem is righteous as black mommies that harvest meals from unbroken memories. This poem is ancestral drums, the heartbeat of a spirit dance. This poem is irrigation, black breastfeeding, this poem is nourishment, bodies of water. This poem is sweet as green plantains. This poem is spicy, scotch bonnet peppers in a fish fry, a pot of grease. This poem is not gentle. This poem is not for the gentle. This poem is for black girls that dream of freedom of growing old, the unprotected. This poem is for black boys that come from black boys that dream of becoming. This poem is a communion of uprising. This poem is soulful, is never ending, is tethered to its 